Well, hi everyone. Do you know what the regular expressions are? And have you come across them before, but we've seen to you kind of hieroglyphs or chicken scratches? If you were looking for clear information about regular expressions, well, you've came to the right address. At first glance, they seem to be kind of errors and bugs in your code, but it's first opinion, so you better know them. Because regular expressions are extremely useful in extracting information, in data validation, where widely supported in programming languages such as Java, Python, JavaScript and more others. They are patterns that have a huge impact on your code, so it will be easy to read for computers and sometimes for co-workers. So, the first thing to recognize when using regular expressions is that every symbol, every sign is essentially a character that has a super power to catch a specific text. And uh, have you ever thought that you can find them in everyday situations, like bank checks your credit card number, or YouTube checks your username, or Google checks a domain site page, or even browser checks your URL request. So, they are everywhere. Now, I hope you understand how useful this tool is. Okay, move forward. So, how to create them? Uh, we will be talking about JavaScript environment only, so there are two ways to create regular expressions. First way, we will create a variable like this, so uh, it is useful if uh, the regular expressions should remain constant, so you write it once and it no longer changes. And the second way is to call the constructor function of regular expression object. Uh, so, this one is usually used when you know that the regular expression will uh, be changing or you don't know the pattern yet and you will get it from another source. So, you put inside regular expression some characters and all these characters can be divided by two groups a meta characters, which has a special meaning, and regular characters, which has a literal meaning and they even look like letters, but with backslash. Okay, besides, uh, each regular ex expression consists not of only characters, but of flags, some kind of switchers. Um, there are six flags in JavaScript, and most widely used flags are J, Y, and Y. So, what we can do with this regular expressions in JavaScript? Um, there are several methods that are very useful. The name speaks for itself, like execute, match, test, match all, split, replace, and more others. Uh, well, how do exactly regular expression works? It instrument uses the following algorithm. For every position in a string, it tries to match a pattern at that position, and then, if there is no match, it goes to the next position. Just a simple algorithm, isn't it? Okay, basically, this algorithm could be greedy or lazy. Greedy here means that regular expression will match as much as possible it could find matches. And the opposite of them is lazy one, non-greedy, which means that regular expression will match as minimally as possible. Okay, uh, also you should know that uh, it uses super tools, quantifiers. Quantifiers are used after a token that specifies how often that a preceding element is allowed to occur. So, the most common quantifiers are question mark, asterisk, plus sign, curly braces, and a dot. Okay, so let's see the difference between the greedy mode search and lazy mode search. We have a simple sentence like here, and we want to take from this sentence dark names and double quotes. It's an example. Mm, we have two regular expressions, and we have two different results. So, why it works like this? We have a pattern with characters, uh, dot and plus sign. It denotes any single character, except of new line, allowed to occur one or multiple times. So, in greedy case, the, the regular expression just adds to the match one character after another without stopping. So, it only stops when it reaches the end of the string. 
And uh, when we put a simple question mark inside regular expressions, we transform the expression into a lazy mode search. So uh, now the engine goes differently. Uh, so the engine doesn't try to match a dot pattern one more time because he's lazy. So each time it stops and asks for a double quote. And uh, then we got the another result. To make things clear, usually um, question mark is a quantifier by itself. It denotes one or zero occurrences. But if it added after another quantifier, or even after itself, it denotes it switches the matching from the greedy mode to lazy. Okay, so uh, also you should know that uh, there is often more than one way to do the same things, with specific characters. In our case, we can find quoted strings without lazy mode search, but using square bracket notation. So here, uh, square brackets when a hat inside uh, excludes excludes specific characters. So the regular expression like this uh, will give us correct result because it looks for a quote followed by one or no more non quotes and then the closing quote. Okay, so also note that although there are multiple characters can be inside square brackets, but they correspond to exactly one character in a match. Uh, also you should know that regular expressions are quite resource intensive compared to regular string operations and uh, moreover the complexity is hidden behind the compact syntax. So um, it, at first glance it's almost impossible to access which of possible options will be faster. Uh, when using the square bracket notation, uh, there is a shorthand to match a character in the list by using the dash to indicate uh, some character in a range. So, like in example this, we have 0-6, it denotes any single digit character from 0 to 6. And in another example, with a heart inside a square bracket, it denotes any single character except for letters in a range from N to P. And, uh, um, well, uh, a pattern that describes both the start and the end of a line is a pair of quantifiers, hat and a dollar sign. Um, did you mention that there is a difference yeah, when the hat uses in, uh, exactly inside the square brackets to exclude characters, like we saw in a previous example, and here to indicate a start of the line. So you should be careful with it. Okay, uh, regular expressions allow us not to just match text, but also to uh, extract information for further processing. So using the groups of characters, consist of parentheses and meta characters, you can capture the required text. Any pattern inside a pair of parentheses will be captured as a group. So it's very useful. Um, let's through. Let's run through backreferencing. Backreferencing is a super tool for replacing the chars inside your text. Uh, so backreferencing is a name uh, given to the action of using matches. It means that we reference a captured match, uh, save it in memory, and then we use this saved value in another place. So that's awesome. Okay. This next one, very tricky one, a regular expression pattern, uh, nested groups. Well, if you are looking for a robust way to parse some text, well, using nested groups, these things you should be careful with. Um, groups can contain any valid regular expression pattern, which includes further subgroups. Also, you should know that uh, capturing groups take on memory and uh, overboarding the overall regular expression searching, although just slightly, so use them only when you really need them. Also, I should add that whenever you're constructing such expressions, just make sure you don't miss any many details, such as parentheses or quantify, because 
a slightly different expression will yield a very different result. Okay, it's the end of our very short video lesson. I will recommend you a very popular website to test your regular expressions. Uh, Regex 101. Here you can add your regular expressions, put input strings, um, choose flags and an optional replacement strings and the uh, matching portions will be highlighted and what is wonderful that this program uh, offered you an explanation in a separate panes. Uh, also, I may recommend you several books if you really want to dive in that theme. Uh, you can find links, links in the description below. So, well, I hope I helped you to understand uh, regular expressions even just slightly. So, now you know how this uh, tool works like and what perspectives it could bring into your code. So good luck to you, use regular expressions, but don't go overboard with them.